Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a hat day because today is a thrifting day. I got some good things today, but oh my gosh, I have a very special collaboration with you guys to share with you guys today. <laughs> it's It's been in the works for a while. She is my sister from another mother, basically. That's what everyone's been telling me. <laughs> and telling, you guys are so much alike. I'm doing a collaboration today with Genevieve Lynn on YouTube. Here she is decorating her beautiful hutch. Oh my gosh, you guys, you got to go check out how she redid this hutch on the inside and how it's decorated to a T. Just so perfect. I love it all. And <laughs> she is obsessed with finding stained ironstone just like me. I don't know how many times I've gotten uh, DMs from all of you guys. Oh my gosh, you and Genevieve are so much alive. You guys need to do a collaboration. And it's funny, it's a funny story. So um, I started following her on, on uh, YouTube before I did my YouTube channel. <laughs> and I didn't know she had uh, an Instagram. So she started following me on Instagram, <laughs> liking my ironstone. I was like, oh my gosh, I follow you on YouTube. And then we got to start talking and stuff. It was, it was awesome. So it's like a small world, but I'm so excited to share with you guys today. We are doing a collaboration on our, uh, our hutches and how we decorated them with our favorite pieces of ironstone. So stay tuned. But if you guys don't know, go follow her and give her some love. She has some amazing finds. Her videos are just oh, to die for. I could watch them all day. Okay, y'all, here is my first hutch that I'm gonna share with you today. It's actually two antique pieces married together. I've got both pieces here in Arkansas. This was from Rusty's Antiques. And then this one was my friend Junkie Mama and BB. I loved it because it was green. So I got this piece first. You see the green? Oh, just gorgeous. So then I had, within two weeks, I found this after. So I thought it matched perfectly. So I'm going to take you around. As you guys know, I collect the stained ironstone. <laughs> and I was running out of room, so I had to get another cabinet, which I will show you guys next. This is one of my favorite finds, Abe. My McCoy cookie jar from that at Goodwill. these pieces you guys are all thrifted look at that I love old register tags and there's my ironstone um, platter stack and there's my most famous piece my favorite I mean, this is supposed to be. There we go. I got this from the Goodwill in Jacksonville. I got Lady Finger Bowl down there. This piece I found in Missouri recently. Another stained pitcher. Some French escargot cups that I ordered. You guys know I love the browns and the whites, the woods and white tones. Got some soap dishes. And these are little um, insulators. Some butter pats. And that's just a butter dish turned on its side. Gonna add some dimension. this plate. I found this. It has apples or cherries on the other side, but I didn't like that, so I just turned it around and look, you guys. Perfect riser. This is one of my favorite 
finds too. I found this at Jacksonville uh, Goodwill. It's a grease jar. I get a lot of questions about this photo. Everyone wants it, but I found it in, um, what is it, Little Rock, Goodwill. And these are all my favorite bowls. I found these two in Missouri recently. These are all my favorite ironstone. <laughs> oh my goodness, found this in Little Rock. show you the big mama it belongs to. Then here's my stack of terrains. Look at the stain. I'll scoot back so you guys can see it all together. That's it for this one. Let's go to the other one now. Okay, and here is my newest addition. I put two antique pieces together, married them together. The bottom piece I already had, if you remember, it was white, but I painted it lichen green from Fusion Mineral Paint. And then I found the top piece on Facebook Marketplace and I painted it as well. I was running out of room, guys. <laughs> and now this one's full of stained ironstone. Now I have to get another one, I just told my hubby. So let's open this. My favorite part is the vintage lock here. I just loved it. So it matches, so if you see that color matches with that. It's just like it was meant to be. Let me open these up. I did not paint the inside. I left it as is. Hopefully that stays open here. So I can show you guys. I just recently got these for Christmas. These are under the cabinet rechargeable lights, so at nighttime they come on. Because usually my, this little hallway is so dark. But I have some stained ironstone bowls. And then that gorgeous stained platter plate back there. It's one of my favorite, that's actually my top favorite. My next favorite is this beauty. So this is the mama of the baby one that I was showing you in my first hutch. My absolute favorite find. Hubby got me for Christmas. He also got me this second one, stained and crazed. And then this one, stained and crazed. I recently found this book at an estate sale. Look how tiny. Y'all know me in books, right? <laughs> Some jello molds. My two ironstone stained syrup pitchers with a gorgeous stained platter in the back. This piece is one of my favorites too. This one's from Illinois. You can see that, 1873. And they're both Bennett's. This one is as well. See? It's crazy that they both match. <laughs> Another stained terrain. Then as you go up, I got some ironstone plates. The lion head stained little dish. binoculars in here. My 
please go back so you guys can see it. Ow, that was my leg. <laughs> That's with it open. And let me go ahead and close it again. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my two hutches, and I'll post a link down below so it takes you directly to Genevieve's page as well, so you can go see and check out her hutch and how she styled her favorite pieces of ironstone. All right, so go ahead and click on her link down below and tell her that Mandy sent you, and you guys have a great rest of your week. I hope you guys find some amazing thrifted finds and scoop up that ironstone.